Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and welcome to SketchUp Made Simple. Friends, it's time to make something new, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, the first step is to launch my.sketchup. I'm going to have you use a link in the description. I'm using the same link here, but click that link in the description of this video, and it will launch my.sketchup for the first time. When you see this, I recommend sign in with Google, click that button, pick your email, and boom, you will be signed up to play with SketchUp, which is pretty darn awesome because it's free on the web and works with Chromebooks. Make sure you hit I agree on the policy, tell it okay, and let's stop at this screen right here. I don't want you to hit start modeling because that picks your units for you. In SketchUp, you can use inches, you can use millimeters, you can use meters. I want to pick what we use. I'm going to tell you the way to do it is to hit this down arrow. Sometimes we will use architectural feet. Sometimes we will use millimeters, sometimes meters. Today is going to be a millimeter project. So click decimal millimeters, and then it will open SketchUp for the first time. This dude shows up, or somebody shows up whenever you start. It shows you how big the world is. I don't care about it. Hit delete, and they're gone. Now, the second thing we want to do is save. So when you hit the save button, it says, where do you want to put it? We are going to click on this spot right here. When it shows up, it'll be a SketchUp folder. And then we're going to simply name what we're going to make. Now today we are going to make a glass. It is fast, it is fun, it has a few cool skills, and I'm going to teach you a little bit just about how SketchUp works. Friends, now that we're in SketchUp and we've got our project saved, I've got to get something through your head. SketchUp is a two-hand program. You're going to use one hand for shortcuts. You're going to use the other hand to click the mouse and let go. Most all your life, you had to click and hold the mouse button. Today, you've got to click and let go. I'm going to wave at you during the video so you can see how it all works. Friends, the first thing I want to show you is if you hit the letter O, it is in orbit mode. This lets you look at it from every direction. You can drag and move your screen so you can see what you want. This spot right here is called the origin as a red and a green axis and the blue axis goes vertical. This will help you as we start building things. You'll see those words show up. It's time to draw our first item. We're going to press the letter C, which is a circle. Once again, you're going to click and let go. See how I'm not pressing the mouse button and it lets me adjust it to any size. I want you to type the number 50 on the keyboard. Notice I don't have to click anywhere. I just type and press enter, and all of a sudden you can see it disappeared because of where I zoom to. We'll use the tour bar to quickly hit zoom to extents, and you can see we did have a circle there. We couldn't see it. I'm gonna hit O for orbit, and I'm gonna drag so I can see it from the top. Friends, now that we've got our circle for our glass, we're gonna add the bottom chunk of glass. We're gonna do that with what we call the push-pull tool. I'm gonna press the letter P. When you click on that flat middle, you can now lift it up. Notice I'm gonna say again, click and let go, and then raise it up just a few millimeters. If you look over here in the corner, this is where I'm reading it. I'm gonna raise mine up to say eight, nine millimeters. I'm flexible. All right, friends, so with the bottom of our glass created, it's time to create the next piece. Tap control, so we're making another new face. Notice nothing changes, but we did it. Press F for offset, and then we want to, once again, click and let go, and pull it out to how thick you think the glass should be. I'm gonna do about seven millimeters. Yours can be different. Now press the space bar, so we're switching to the selection tool, and then I want you to click on this outside edge so you can see the dots. Hit your P for push-pull, and then raise that up to the height you want your glass to be. I'm gonna go somewhere up around 120 millimeters. That looks fantastic. Friends, we have just made a really cool glass in just a few seconds. I think this is totally fun, and I think it's also pretty darn useful. Now, I also like glasses that slope. All right, friends, make sure you start over here by the file name, and I want you to drag and select just the top edge of your project. When you drag in this direction, it only grabs what's totally in the selection box. This is super cool for what we're about to do. When you hit S for scale, it gives you this awesome box. And then down at the bottom, it tells you to hit control to go about the center. So I'm gonna tap the control key and friends, you can all of a sudden make your glass slope out up at the top instantly. I'm gonna hit save so I don't lose that. Hit my space bar to go back to the selection tool. Let's hit O to orbit so we can look at it from every angle. 
That is an awesome little cup in just a few simple steps. Friends, let's go over here to materials and paint it. You've got colors right here where you could paint one piece at a time. You can also use the space bar, grab everything with your selection handle, and you could paint it all at once. If you want more than just these colors, you can go to the awesome materials. Friends, this is where I wanted to take you. Let's go to glass and mirrors, and I want to make my glass out of glass just like that. I'm going to hit O to orbit. And friends, you have just created your first project in SketchUp. Hit save and congratulations on making something totally awesome. Friends, if you need a screenshot of your project, get it aimed the way you want. Friends, if you need a screenshot of your project, you can simply hit download as PNG and you've instantly got a way that you can adjust how it looks and hit export and export your picture and show it off to whoever you need. All right, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with that and you're excited about what lessons will come next. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching, have a great day.